there, Sarah Basso, Lexington Legends. Nathan Zamorin with LexArts. And we're here to pitch an idea about doing a public artwork to celebrate Sweet Lou Johnson. We're here at Lou Johnson Park, a park that's been dedicated to uh, the famous baseball player from here in Lexington. But uh, this park is kind of tucked away and we think more could be done to celebrate the significant individual uh, from our community. Uh, we want to do a, a commissioned proposal uh, that would help us to do more fundraising and, and actually complete a public art project in, for this topic. Um, Sweet Lou Johnson was a significant baseball player. Um, the funds that the that, uh, Lugash Community Foundation are providing would be paid to artist fees, and that's to develop co concept and rendering along with material list and the timeline so that we can then show those to the community and the community can then uh, help influence the, the piece of art that we end up with. Uh, this idea originally originated from on the table conversations. Uh, public art pieces were specifically uh, brought up in those conversations, uh, which then uh, brought up the idea of celebrating uh, Lexington's diverse and rich history, specifically on the north side of town. And then, of course, Lou Johnson was specifically brought up, being that we actually we were a host site at Whitaker Bank Ballpark. So these two pieces cut, sort of came together. And this is an important project for our community because it's been noted that Lexington lacks diverse narrative within our public art. The mayor actually just recently put out a call that we need to have more uh, diverse conversations through the public art that's here. So this, this project definitely does that. Uh, who will be a part of this initiative? The Lexington Legends as well as LexArts. Uh, the Legends will be serving as the site for the piece. Uh, we'll be leading grant finding, uh, city approvals, and leading the project as a whole. LexArts will be leading the artist call, assisting in grant finding as well as other city approvals and co-leading the project. And the timeline, uh, the RFQ, RFP will be launched in January of 2018. Uh, we would then have community input at a couple different points uh, to help narrow down the field. And then we would commission proposals in spring of 2018 uh, and have uh, uh, a complete Proposal selected by the end of June 2018. Uh, who serves this project? Who gets served by the project? The city of Lexington, specifically the north side, providing a sense of pride who uh, live on the north side of town, uh, and also those graduates from Dunbar, providing future generations with a story they can relate to uh, and Lexingtonians that they can look up to. And success will be defined by having a final proposal that we can then move forward with in another phase of the project, but it will be the, the, also the community input, the number of participants, and in both in gallery settings that we're going to display them, as well as in, through social media. Um, the final proposal will be the culminating point of this project that we can uh, be equipped to do proper fundraising for. Thanks for Thank your you. consideration.